It is a crime that has lately dominated national headlines with shocking revelations emerging of how one operative, now deceased, made booming business out of it. We're talking about a drink spiking, a criminal act where someone puts alcohol or drugs into another person's drink without their knowledge. Well, Kenyans call it mchele in reference to a rice-like pellet used by perpetrators of the crime. Tonight, with the help of an informer and former insider, a lady who had been in the trade for over three years before quitting, Citizen TV's Ben Kirui takes you inside the dark world of the drink-spiking menace and reveals how easily the drugs used are acquired from unscrupulous medical practitioners. Here now is our special feature, Operation Mchele. Nairobi. This concrete jungle of opportunity can serve an equal amount of perilous offerings. When darkness falls here, either end of the stick is game. And in darkness, the drink spiking industry thrives. Three weeks ago, he fell into a trap of a Pishori lady, as the drink-spiking women are commonly known. It is during this year's Labor Day celebrations when Jacob and his friends decided to visit a pub along Kiambu Road to unwind. We Alafu ndio niweze kufanya nini? E, kurudi ndani. So nikiwa kwa hizo harakati sasa ndio nilipatana na na huyu msichana alikuwa amekaa tu peke yake na nini? Nikaenda nikajintroduce tukaongea. Eh kaniambia anataka kununua kitu ya kula, nikamwambia sawa acha twende, kanunue. Alafu tufanye nini? E, twende nyumbani. Kwa hivyo tukaenda tukanunua chakula, alafu sasa nikampeleka mali anaishi. Ama mali aliniambia naishi na Hapo ndiyo ilikuwa the last memory na kumbuka ya communication between me na any other person. Just like that, Jacob lost consciousness for the next five days. Kwa memory yangu yote, anything that happened on uh, Tuesday, the whole of Tuesday actually, na kumbuka tu ni kikujua kwa nyumba, na nikiona TV dakika mbili, sikumbuki. Sasa Friday, ndiyo sasa, nilikumbuka vitu zilifanyika karibu, karibu zote sasa. Like uh, the whole day na leza, jua nini nilifanya subwe na nini, vile nilienda kuripot na nini. In the CCTV footage of the bar he visited, a woman is seen approaching the counter of a food establishment along the same Kiambu Road. This is the woman he claims that he was with on that day. Niliuma hizo, hizo chakula tulikuwa, tumenunua, niliuma. And that na hapo ndio memory yangu inapotelea kabisa. Nakumbuka hata tukiangaliana kwa gari akiwa amekaa hapo akiniangalia na hizo miwani. Ndio alikuwa amevaa miwani. Hiyo ni kitu moja nakumbuka lakini <laughs> from hapo sikumbuki kidogo. <laughs> Rude shock befell him after he found out that he lost thousands of shillings transferred from his Mpesa account. The audacious suspect also took a Fuliza mobile loan through his phone. Nilikuwa nimetumiwa kwanza shilingi ishirini na aledi na nilikuwa pia nimetumiwa shilingi mbili e, na a gentleman like uh, five minutes later then kitu two minutes later nikapata nimetuma pesa nyingi e, nikapata nimetumiwa mtu pesa nyingi sasa huu mwanaume mwenye alikuwa ametumia shilingi mbili Jacob's ordeal is just one among many similar cases reported in various hanging joints within the city he is however one of the few brave ones to come forward and share his experience and report to the authorities the sedative drug Despite being categorized as those to be sold only on prescription, we find it can easily be accessed. With the help of a reformed Pishori lady, we went undercover down the dark world of criminal activity. We headed to an area with pharmacy shops. Our mission here is to attempt to purchase a number of sedative drugs commonly used by these criminals. <laughs> Nigani na za replace na hiyo domika. Ni how much? 
Our informer was not immediately given the controlled drug as the pharmacist on duty pressed with more inquiries. <laughs> The pharmacist here proved firm with the rules and our efforts to purchase the controlled drug failed. But our informer made a phone call to an alleged supplier in the area. We hit the road and drove further into the area where our informer met with a person described as a notorious supplier. Following closely, we were led to a pharmacy that illegally sells sedative drugs. The supplier, who has been in the business for a long time, advised on the best drug and how effectively to use it on unsuspecting victims and the best instant results. The drug in question is Domicam. <laughs> They proceeded into this medical clinic in the area and after a short while, we got what we wanted. After giving our informer instructions on how to use it, she wished her luck and left. And just like that, Domicam, one of the drugs used as mchele, is in our hands. From here, attractive women are usually deployed to execute the final operation of spiking the drinks of unsuspecting revelers. <laughs> Yeah, ni kutoka mwaka gani hadi mwaka gani? Ni kutoka 2018 mpaka 2020. Experience yangu ya kwanza tulienda club. Na club ni tulienda ilikuwa tu okay haikuwa na CCTV. Yaani ilikuwa tu ni hivi na watu walikuwa wameja. Ni kaiole. Ni town. So mshitamba kaniambia hii ama pa nae kuna wateja tufanye nini? Wacha tumalizane na hii biashara ha? hapa sisi twende. The Mchele ladies have mastered the art so well in elaborate criminal scheme that they know how, where and when to pounce on their victims. Club yenye kuna CCTV haupatiani hapo ndani. So una una sema tu say unaenda wapi kitu kama lodge. Sasa pale ndio tutamwambia buy drinks. Tufanye nini? Tukunywe hapo. Sasa hapo ndio utafanya nini? Uta ndio utachukua hizo dawa na uweke. The drug according to Dr. Daniela Munene, the Vice President of Pharmaceutical Society of Kenya, PSK, are very fast acting. They are absorbed into the system very fast. As soon as you take the drink, in about five minutes, when you start feeling woozy, but by the time you start feeling that effect, it's no longer in your stomach. It is already in your bloodstream. So even if you try to vomit or anything, there's nothing that can happen. In some cases, the drugging is fatal. So if they use a very big dose on you, it could easily lead to death. It is a case that befell Wilberforce Adaka, a resident of Kayole in Nairobi. 
he is lucky to have survived but his ordeal is one he would almost rather forget nilinge kwa club kivi yangu i person mimi mimi peke yangu nikaanza kuburudika kuburudika kisha burudika wakati ni kwa hiyo harakati ndio nilipata na huyo madam huyo mrembo walikuwa hapo so nikaita mmoja afuta kumuita alikuja tukaongea tukaongea tuka balisha na mawazo tuka akatukasikizana that nakupenda akasema i love you too na hapo ndio tulianza hiyo story ya mapenzi kidogo kidogo so from there ilibidi nimembaia pia ye, kinywaji kambaya kinywaji pia mimi na yangu so hapo akaniambia hapa atuko mali safe can we take a room kambaya yeah it's okay you can take a room from there what happened sikuelewa cause now i find myself after two days at Moi referral hospital and for people who are lucky enough to get to a hospital it can be reversed for some people um, they were exposed to a small amount so they just sleep it off and they wake up but i advise that people need to go to the hospital adaka just like jacob lost all his belongings and money the drugs used by criminals are usually of the depressant nature they work by slowing down your nervous system and dulling your response they make it harder for you to resist an assault just you 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 might be awake you might even be seeing what is happening but you have no control of your faculties you can be led to go anywhere you can you know you can't um you can't resist any attempts um uh, of harming you or of rape the theory behind it is it is subjecting you into obedience that if you are asked what is your pin number without reason you just give it out what is the date of your birth you just give it out uh, what is your bank account you just give it out things that you cannot you are not able even to remember in your normal day to day uh, level of thinking one of them is rohypnol or date rep pill a prescription drug used to treat severe insomnia and assist in anesthesia it is a tranquilizer and can relieve tension and make you feel very relaxed ketamine or sometimes called k is meant to be used among veterinarians as an anesthetic for animals use of this drug creates an out of body experience which becomes more extreme the more you take the drug midazolam a drug marketed under the brand Domicam is a powerful sedative. Scopolamine, also known as the devil's breath, is said to have been commonly used in Colombia or Ecuador to remove a person's free will, zombify them to speak so they can be assaulted or robbed freely. It has been described as the world's scariest drug because of how victims have been convinced instantly to empty their bank accounts and hand over the keys to their apartments and vehicles the one that people co- commonly call um, devil's breath because you it's just blown in your face you breathe it in and you can't remember anything for 2 to 24 hours it's a drug called scopolamine it's used for motion sickness people who feel like vomiting when when they're in a vehicle or a ship or a train um and so it even after surgery we call it a uh, post operative uh, treatment uh, to prevent nausea and vomiting which is very common after surgery scopolamine is used so the drug is available because of those uses you can get it in a hospital you can get it in a pharmacy but uh, if you get the powder it's available as a patch but you can get it as a powder if you get it as a powder you crush it this is what people then a uh, blow in your face when they're in close range um and it it takes effect immediately the pharmacy and poisons board a body mandated to regulate drugs says it is not aware of the illicit use of the drug in the market while responding to our query ppb said it has heightened its surveillance with a view of getting to the root of the matter outlets selling the drug without prescriptions and those found in possessions have been warned by the pharmacy and poisons board of dire consequences including a fine not exceeding 100000 shillings or imprisonment of a term not exceeding 10 years or both on the 16th of may samuel mugomovota 
was shot and killed in broad daylight in Kasarani area of Nairobi. Police linked his killing to the stupefying business within the area. We have had a big problem in Kasarani and some other, some other major clubs because Kasarani has big clubs here. Every weekend, almost every weekend, you'd get a case of drugging. And unfortunately, some of these drugging could even lead to fatality. Twelve women were identified by police officers in connection with the case where the slain Mugo is said to have been deploying them to spike their target's drinks. The victims who spoke to us say the Nairobi nightlife has taught them the hard way that not all that glitters is gold. The painful lessons ringing every time the thought of visiting an entertainment joint cross their mind. Revelers have been warned by authorities to carefully scrutinize strangers when out in entertainment joints. Always have a friend watching over your food and drinks and never exceed your alcohol limit.